Okay, so I went to Pound Stretchers today and was shocked to find that she had Halloween stuff in already. Um, usually they're a bit later to the game, but and also they usually have like some really tacky stuff. And as you're about to see, some of it weren't too bad. Check it out. Pound Stretcher, let's see what they got. So there's a lot of stickers there, a lot of great stickers for your kids to play with. Got some of those bloody handprints to stick on your windows. They always look quite good. There's some nice, like, glittery pumpkins there. Make a little display. Some lanterns. Oh, and obviously the gonks are back in town. Gonks everywhere. The spider one's quite nice. Along with a spider hat. So I bought that one for my wife because I know she likes her gonks. So I got her that one. It's a nice little pumpkin on it. Right, so there we've got some glittery banners. A lot of these things can hang up and stuff. That ghost there is like a 3D sort of a bell that opens up. Got a lot of um, balloons there, some boo balloons. These ones hang down from the ceiling. They're like little um, things that hang down from ceilings. And again, it's quite. if you look at the prices on there, they're not that bad. There's some spooky banners. This is what hangs on your door, little dangly stuff that hangs in front of your door to make yourself a nice little spooky doorway. Some hanging skeletons. Now, these are great. These big boggly eye things, you could put them on so many different things, like your, your front of your house you can make a feature out of it. I like those. Some ske animal skeletons. So I saw someone do a pet cemetery and use the skeletons as the animals, you know, like a pet, evil pet in zoos thing. I thought that was fantastic. I was on Facebook the other day. Those are sort of MDF little, I suppose, little hanging decorations you can put on your walls. Oh, there we go. Look, some plastic bats with chains on. Look at how cool is that. Like a bat out of hell. We've got some um, bowls there for your sweets, for the trick-or-treaters. Some nice little signs there. Come in for a bite. Happy Halloween. Some more chains with skulls on. Some pumpkin carving kits. To be honest, I always use a knife. I don't use those kits. Some nice little oh, makeup set. Now, these are great. I'm going to pause this for a second. Hang on, let's pause it. Well, right, now, these I thought would be brilliant for like um so there we go those for like when you sort of waiting to get trick or treating or just after trick or treating paint your own pumpkin holder tea light holder and paint your own halloween cup and i thought that's pretty decent i can imagine the kids loving that we're back again right so here we've got some nice little these lanterns i've got a few these i've got these from Poundland a couple of years ago and they're very good some zombie arms to stick out your car door Do you remember that and that was a big rage in the 80s when it the fingers coming out the door some more signs. Oh, Ma Maleficent. See that? That's a Maleficent thing. So if you're in a Maleficent costume, there you go. I didn't like these because that looked like a baby skeleton to me and that really put me off. I thought, oh, what's that? And I was like, oh, no, it's a bit too small, a bit too creepy. Those green masks at the bottom look fantastic. I like those. So it's some cobweb stuff. All your classics. Some little hanging skeletons there you can de decorate about. Some hanging spiders. More sort of Zombie tape, as I like to call it. And I'm like, what's in this box? Because they literally, they were just putting this out as I turned up. So I kind of, like, got in their way a little bit. And I didn't want to spend too long sort of getting in everyone's way. There's some random bits. There's some spider webs there, you can see. Stuff I haven't actually got out yet. I'm trying to get in here, but I don't want to move too much. Now, look, this here. Did that, 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 that looks a bit rude, doesn't it? That middle bit there looked a bit rude to me. I don't know, that would be good for an ants, I suppose, like a, a lady's, like, Hindu or a Ann Summers party or so, I suppose, if you want to dress the devil that way. These are little car pumpkin things. And you've got a little bat one. So there's, there's loads of little car -y things. I suppose little good, you could, like, give them to your kids at, like, for Halloween before they go to trick-or-treating, I suppose. Give them a little treat. And that is that. So I'm sorry I kind of whizzed through there, but I didn't really want to get in the way of the poor people trying to put it all out. I might go back in there and do another review on it later, but I sort of had to get away at this point. Anyway. So there you go. So that wasn't too bad, was it? Quite a nice little selection in there. Um, I said um, power, um, power Stretchers last year tend to have a lot of really naff sort of stuff, but this year they've really upped their game, which is good. They're sort of trying to compete probably with like b and and Home Bargains, those type of shops. So it wasn't too bad. I quite enjoyed that range in there today. Alright guys, um, if you know anyone that likes these um, Halloween sort of stuff, let them see the video so they can see for themselves if they want to go to Pound Stretchers and have a butchers and see what they're doing now. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys soon. Um, like, subscribe, share and all that palaver. See you later guys, bye.